Here we go, week five, February 6, 2021. My Jiu Jitsu journey. I'm five weeks in, folks. I guess five weeks isn't a great way to put it. Sure, five weeks ago I started, but I'm not really five weeks in. Really, I'm only five days in, you know? That's tricky because I feel like I'm five days in, but I can't say I'm five days in. All right, so today I got some goals. Today I'm gonna focus on stretching really well when I get there. I got a routine that I've been doing that's really focuses on opening up my hips, stretching out my legs, calves, and my shin splints, and then um, we're gonna roll. And I'm really gonna focus on when I roll, staying calm. It's hard. It's gotta be weird for people that don't do jujitsu to understand what I say when I say I gotta be, I gotta stay calm. Because to them, it doesn't look like you're doing anything crazy. It doesn't look like you're you're not running a marathon, you're not lifting a bunch of weights, you're not punching each other. So it's hard to wrap your brain around what it means to be calm. You don't understand unless you feel it. It's just different. It may be the only time in your life that you experience what it's like to have someone choke you and sit on top of you and they're not trying to murder you. They're doing it for fun. It's so out of the ordinary from what you're used to in your normal life. It's hard to adapt unless you do it all the time. And I'm starting to believe that the key is doing it all the time. It's reps. Being underneath somebody, having them trying to choke you, it's very frustrating. You're trying to move their hands out of the way. They're, you're trying to put your hands on them, grab their hands, but they're constantly pushing you off. It's just like, imagine playing with one of your kids and you just play a game of him trying to grab your hands and you constantly moving your hands away, right? And do that for 20 minutes straight without stopping. It's just crazy. It's just, it's so different than, than your normal life. Whereas normally, I might have to run sometimes to get out of the way of something or or I'm going in the store and I gotta lift something heavy. All these things I would normally do, like what I do in a gym, you normally will do stuff like that outside the gym. It's relative. But with Jiu Jitsu, there's never a time that you need this stuff, unless someone's trying to kill you. Or you're doing it for fun. Like, it's either in the dojo or someone's trying to kill you. And so you never get a chance to practice in real life this is what practice in real life is. There's no faking it. There's no stand-ins, no shortcuts. You gotta spend time on the mat with other dudes that are killers that are trying to cut off your airways. That's it. So, I know I need reps. So I'm gonna try to roll a lot today. I'm gonna get out of breath. I'm gonna try to push that point, that panic point that I have where I can't breathe and he's sitting on top of me and struggling or whatever and I just need a breath try to get past that. So that's the goal. I'm trying to push on with my breath control, try to stay calm. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Nothing's changed. I'm as nervous every single week that I go back. I'm the same nervous and I'm just as excited every single week because I'm definitely learning, but I've yet to come to that intersection where stuff makes sense yet. I'm working on technique and I'm working on certain attacks, but there's, there's not a bigger picture yet for me. So I think we're gonna make some real, um, we're gonna make some big moves today. So I got about a 30 minute drive ahead of me, 35 minute drive ahead of me. And uh, I'll see you at practice. the crack of his neck what I do is I take this hand I go underneath I grab my own wrist and then I put my forehead on top of it at this point in time I have two choices of what to do with my feet I can what's called grapevine 
his opposite leg and take my heel and push it to the ceiling, then I'll finish by painting the back of his hand against his floor. Painting and lifting up. Painting and lifting up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize a uh, gable grip, which is just like this. This just comes down like this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the side with this windshield wiper. Watch my feet, just like that. So the windshield wiper is just like that. I get to this position here and now I start working just like this. I'm not utilizing any muscle. I'm just using the technique of this. But if he hasn't responded to that, I wanna see what his defense looks like, but then I'll go into a super strong position where I utilize muscle to finish him. What I'll do is I'll grab my bicep, I'll put my forearm right across his head, just like this. What I wanna do is I wanna bring my elbows together, and now you can see this is a very, very secure lock, and now watch how I generate the weight. I don't use my arms yet. What I do is I get my hips up off the ground, and that brings all my weight down. Now is when I squeeze and put my elbows close together with all this weight on them. Let's roll a little bit. We'll play around with that. But I'm glad it does, especially that first one, he got really good at it. <laughs> you know everything I want to do. See that though? You have to be aware. It was like a panic. <laughs> I, felt, I felt really exposed. Yeah, you you always are, you know? So this is another form of grapevine. I'm comfortable, isn't it? How do I get up that? Uh, you kind of got to just deal with it for that moment, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it doesn't last forever, you know? When you roll, keep your teeth clenched. Oh, so I'm gonna knock them out? Yes. I don't wear a mouthpiece, most people do, but oh, really? I don't talk when I roll. So see, once you get that control, how deadly it is from everywhere, I can control you so well, you know? And then you can just put a guy down. It starts with that. So I'm always trying to get your hands across your body. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you, you, you're yeah. just like sitting there like, Right. Well, I have to go that way. Right. Should I be trying to sit up like this? Yeah, you have a nice base there. I mean, that's, if you go too high, you're going to get be susceptible to being swept. And then you're going to try to sit up. Yeah, right now I'm going to try to go through you on an angle to sweep you. But now you can't, you, you get enough. So now I want to go from there to try to pull your hands across. I want you to do something that is wrong. Or I just want you to open up my movement. Right. There we go. Good job on that defense, you know. Yeah, good job getting your legs free. I mean, sometimes the guys just got your neck. Well, the other thing that you're going to notice is when you get into a spot, you don't have all day. You know what I mean? Right. Like, well, you've got time, down. but you, you don't have all day. You did a great thing. You took me from here, and then you moved me up. And I almost had to tap to that. Does that make sense? Because yeah. that's what you want to do. Very nice. Good job stepping over both times. So you have my arm here, right? You just pull it down and then up. Go back. I'm do it slow. Oh, like this? I had you here. I had you here. Uh, so you know, look at see it. See, I'm on the verge of tapping. Oh, you, are you really? Down, so I just want to oh, wait. So down, tap. Yeah. So this is an Americana position. I don't care how you end up there. So you have me in top cross, and look at you right here. See it? All right. So here's what I need to do. This hand can't do anything, so watch. I let go there. Now, do you see it? Now watch. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, you've got to jump on my hands. My hands are on your neck, you've got to jump on with both hands. Don't play around with my feet. I was kind of giving you all the time in the world to grab hold. It's around the neck, abandon everything. Grab abandon your, everything okay. in defense. I, I'm under your chin. You know what I mean? I can finish you one-handed right. under the chin. What I like to do is I like to lock it. I like to push down with this arm. Yeah. And then I like to rotate a little bit. 
So it's it's just a, a grab and a seize. It's, a, it's like a, a rear naked choke, but you're upside down and backwards. So you're here, grab the neck and just squeeze. Let's do one more round. Last one. Grab that back. Yeah, when I come back to you, grab it. Yes. Nice choke immediately. See how easy that is? And we'll go over that next week, but it leads into such a beautiful back take. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Nice work on that back attack. Very nice. That was dead. I liked it. <laughs> All you didn't do is squeeze, you know? But great instincts taking my back. Like right now, you've got an angle for my back. Take it. Get here and then just boom, just dive across and grab my back. Okay. Don't worry about what you do once you get there. Just oh, okay. steal my back. You're saying, like, okay. Yeah, because right. there's no better fight to attack from than the fight where you right. can't see me. So reset once you're there, or just get there. Get there. You have a plan, it doesn't matter, get there. Do you know what? What can you do to me if I have your back? Nothing. Nothing. I want to bring my guard to you. Sorry. Tap. One really important thing that I took away from practice today. It's called a bruised esophagus. Right about here. It's like a bruise. It's hard. When I swallow, I feel a lump. It was from a rear naked. But I feel so good about today. The first day that I feel really good about something. Number one, an injury. Because it's not a permanent thing. It's not going to be a big problem. So it's just one of those little things. It's like a training. It's like a, a battle scar. So stoked about that. Two, I stayed calm. I did it. I actually stayed calm when things were getting crazy. Now, they didn't get as crazy, I don't think. Either they didn't get as crazy or I just stayed calm through them. I did my stretching technique before class. It felt really good and I was really loose. I got some really good attacks when we were rolling today. I seem to gravitate towards the Kimura. I got two Americanas today. I got kind of a bigger picture on what rolling is about. Because I've been just putting little tiny pieces of Legos together. But today I kind of got to see the, the bigger picture. Wow, that one feels weird. Ah. It feels weird, like it feels like I want to burp to get it out, but it's not coming out, it's just my throat. I got a bunch more scratches today from my own fingers from trying to lock up. I got a north-south choke today. Who are we kidding? He's letting me do these things, I'm sure. So man, I feel really good. Today was a good one. We rolled a lot. We practiced a lot. I got there 10 minutes early. We still finished after five, so we still did two hours and 10 minutes, two hours and 15. So man, that was good. I, I feel really good about today and uh, I'm grateful. He is just an awesome friend and he enjoys rolling and teaching. So man, I really, what a blessing this has been. I really scored. It's just, I'm super grateful, man. It, it was a blast though really was a blast. I feel empowered today. I know I'm going to get brought back down next week, but I needed that today. I needed some, I needed to hit some goals, you know, I got my stretching goals. Oh, I stayed calm. Man, did I stay calm. I felt really good about it. And at one point he told me, you got me in really good positions right now, but I, I'm, I'm not freaking out because I'm practicing maintaining control of my breathing and not freaking out. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm really working on that. He said that. And then I felt, oh, he's human. Like, I'm not the only one trying to calm down. I thought he was a robot. And I was just so far behind that I'm just focused on breathing and staying calm. He's like, no, he's working on that too. So that was good to hear, man. So overall, I feel good about this one. So I'm just going to capitalize on that and try to gain some momentum. 
and keep pressing on, man. When you start something, keep it going. So thank you guys for watching. What a good day. Until the next time, aloha. Okay, so next morning, I feel like there's a golf ball in here somewhere. Super sore. That hurts. When I swallow, it hurts. My jaw, my neck, everything's super tight. But name of the game.